everybody. Um, I'm here to do the second wave. I'm really sorry I didn't film the first wave, um, but the process I'm about to do is the same for this wave. So I'm just checking my camera that you can see. I know you can't see all of it, but it's a 60 centimeter round tabletop that I've taken the legs off. And what I'm going to do next is put down the next wave. So this wave will have colors, the same colors through it. Um, they'll be transparent, so you'll be able to see through to give it more depth and it will just look gorgeous. So let's talk about what I've done so far. I have mixed up my resin. I've stirred it for five minutes and scraped the sides and scraped the sides and scraped the sides. I can't emphasize that you do that enough. Um, I have put off about, ooh, I don't know, 10 mils it's not very much to do the white line so I'm going to add my white in right now and I'm using titanium white by Just Resin and I'll just normally you shouldn't do it over the top of the table but because I'm using this to teach you I'm going to show you what I'm doing so I'm just going to take I don't want the line as heavy as the last line and I'm probably not going to push it out as far as the last one either. So I'm going to take maybe that much and mix it into my white. So I'll just stir that in. Make sure you scrape the sides, scrape the stick on the sides. Don't worry about the stick looking dirty, it was dry, it's oh, just old resin, I just haven't scraped it off. Because that's the way I roll. Alright, so we're going to put that aside, you can see how runny it is. So we'll put that aside and by the time we mix all our other colours, this will thicken up enough to do the waves. Now, just so if you want to know, I've used Just Resin's ocean coat which is their new product which is supposed to be um, the best product they've got to do um, ocean scenes so that's awesome now I want to show you I don't know if you can see it in this light but there's just a little bit of sparkle in our sea and I don't want to lose that so I'm going to put a little bit more sparkle in our resin and what I used was um, this is from color art it's their bling it range and this is abalone shell now i can't emphasize you only need the teeniest 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 bit of this stuff don't overdo it um this is currently just over 300 mils of resin and i'll show you what i mean by teeny just open it and be very careful with this stuff because you don't want to breathe it in so when i say teeny I mean teeny, look, teeny, barely wet the stick. So, and that will be enough to give it a bit more sparkle. I don't want it to overpower these waves. So this little jar, it, it might be expensive. I can't remember how much I paid, but it's going to last forever. So I'm just gonna stir that in. And as much as you can see the bubbles at the moment, I'll show you the stick after I've stirred it a bit. And the good thing about this stuff, it doesn't sink because we haven't put that much in. So it does float in the resin, which is what we want. We don't want it to sink. So can you see the sparkle? See, it's only just, that's all we want. We just want a hint. You know, we just like, when the, when the sun hits the waves, you, you, you can see a sparkle in the ocean. So that's all we want. Right, so my next thing is when you do a wave, you put a clear line down. So I'm just gonna pour off a bit of clear and I'm only probably gonna pour 20 mils at the most. So I'm just gonna put that in this one. And that's about all I want. Scrape that and put that aside. Now, the rest I want for my three colours. I've got three colours. There's a light um, 
color through here then it's a little bit darker and then it goes into our darker blue so what i'm using is this little piggy's this is sea glass that'll be our first layer and then our second layer is going to be this little piggy's lakeside i also mix a little bit of the um, sea glass into it as well and along with a drop or two of Colour Obsessions Bondi, Bondi Blue. So that will be our second layer. And I want it transparent, so really minimal amounts. And then our third layer is this little piggy sapphire, which is this gorgeous blue. I love it. This is like one of my favourite dark blues. It's fantastic. And in that one, I am going to drop uh, Bermuda Blue by Colour Obsession. Now these, these are what they call tints and their translucents they're great so because we want to be able to see down onto this wave that's already crashed and just have a color um hinting over the top of it just like the sea when the, the under under toes of the wave goes back you can see it underneath the wave that's coming forward so that's what we're going to do so i'm going to pour off into other cups some more clear for those and i'll mix them up I'm just going to put, for our first one, I'm just going to put just under 100, 100 mils. And for our second one, definitely 100 mils. And then I should have around about 100 mils left for my dark blue, which I'll mix into this one. So I've got just a little bit more than that in this one. So I'll do my dark blue first. So we're going to get some of our sapphire and like I said before we want this translucent so don't get heavy handed you can this powder will give you opaque if you use enough of it so I'm just going to use probably less than that see how beautiful and dark it is it's gorgeous I love this color so I'm just going to tap that into there Make sure you cover your lids, don't sneeze it, don't breathe it in. Mica's quite dangerous like that. You gently stir it. And stir it in, scraping the sides. Now it's just tinting it a blue now, it's just starting to work in i don't i'm not worrying about the bubble so i'm not being as gentle as maybe you would if you were doing a deeper pour because i'm going to be able to torch these bubbles out so as you can see it's only a hint of blue at the moment so now i'm going to add my bermuda blue to this to darken it up now i always get in a big mess with this so i always keep um these are uh, baby wipes they're your best friend when you're doing epoxy um, and I'm going to wipe the bottle after I finish as you'll see it gets very messy so, always wear gloves now I'm just going to put a couple of drops in all right so that's about three maybe four drops there do it up put it aside so if it falls over it's not going to go everywhere because that thing stains everything. That's why you wear gloves. Always wear gloves with the resin anyway. And as you can see, it's mixing it in, but it's not going opaque. It's giving us a beautiful dark blue though. And give it a good stir. Scrape your scraper, your spatula. Okay, so as you can see, it's still opaque, uh, not opaque, it's still transparent. I can still see through it and that's what we want because we want to be able to see that white wave underneath. All right, so I will do my first colour in this one and that's with the sea glass from this little piggy. And 
I'm going to use this end of the stick and again I want it quite opaque uh, sorry can't get that right I want it translucent so I don't want a whole lot Can I get any off? There you go. so I'm just going to color it a little bit put away my mica and we're going to Push this around. It seems to be stuck on my stick, as you can see. So let's scrape it off the stick. Micas need to be worked a little bit more into your into your um, resin. So take your time with mica. Some mica powders will easily go into resin, and some they just take a bit more. That's actually a little bit too translucent. I might. Just do a little bit more. Better to do a little bit at a time than dumping it all in and having too much. So, do that much more. This, this little piggy mica powders, you can get them from the Fluid Art Company. Uh, I don't have any um, vouchers, discounts or anything. But that, look, I can't talk highly of them enough. They're just a fantastic company. Really fast to get your uh, mica powders out to you. They also have other stuff. Um, they're, but they're a great company. And no, I'm not sponsored by them. But hey, if they want to, look, I'm open. All right, see, still transparent. I can still see my pink stick through there. Just got enough color. So I'm happy with that. I'll put that aside. I think I've mixed it in enough. And my last one, which is our middle color, is going to have Lakeside, which is another piggy one. This, this is... As you can see from the colour that I put on the top, it throws a bit of a gold as well. So it's blue and a bit of gold, depending on the look that you see, the edge of the uh, angle of the light. So, my dry stick. Nope, too much. Yep. I want that much. And I'm also going to put in a touch of the sea glass, just a little bit. Bondi Blue from Colour Obsession in there. And this one's a really messy bottle too. So open it not over your artwork. Because you do not want that dripping everywhere. And I do not recommend what I'm doing, but I'm only doing this so you can see what I'm doing. So one, two drops, and that's all I want. And I'm going to wipe the bottle, seal it up. Yeah, so they, they, these things will last forever as well because you don't need a whole lot if you're just doing translucent colours. Fantastic stuff, so I love them as well. Okay, so give this a good mix. So while we're waiting, if you like this video, look, if you want to see more of these sort of videos, to how to do the waves and, you know, Create the ocean scenes and everything. Um, look, let me let me know in the comments down down below. Give this a thumbs up. That'll help my channel. Just trying to build it at the moment. Got all that micro I need to mix in. So. Yeah, 
Now, if you don't get those micas mixed in, you get stringy bits through your artwork and you know, sometimes they look all right, but it's not the look we're going for. So give it a good mix in. You can hear my cat, I think it's my cat. Anyway, so still transparent. That's what we want. Okay, so let's get started. So the first thing I'm gonna do is lay down my clear that will show me my where I'm gonna put my shoreline. So I'm thinking I will just come up out here and sort of follow this one a little bit. So I'm gonna just grab my clear. Always start off the edge. And do your shore shape. It doesn't matter if it's not the same as the wave that broke before because hey honestly they, they do not break the same so i'm going to lay down all of this clear hopefully you can see what i'm doing and that's giving me the base to follow to lay my shoreline when i'm ready to put my white down because to make the, white, make the waves work, your white needs to go on the edge of this clear and on the dry surface. So it touches both. Right. Other end. Scrape out my clear. And it doesn't matter if I go into this colour bit because I'm going to lay down the colour on top of that. I'm just trying to get as much of this out as I can. Some people just turn them upside down and leave them there to drain out. But we want to get on with this project, so I'm not going to do that today. I'll just put that aside and I will clean it for later. Let me know if you want to know how I clean my cups. Okay, so we've got our shoreline down. Let's do our light colour next light colour. Starting off close to that shoreline, off the edge, run it round. And same with this, it doesn't matter if it goes into there going to cover it up anyway just scrape as much of this resin out as you can this stuff's expensive don't waste it dark blue bit at the top. So I'll actually use the last one. You use the middle one last. Here comes my daughter Gemma. Hey Gemma, we're filming. Say hello to everybody. Hi. How was your night? Good. Gemma's from Darwin. She's the proud owner of the Big Bastard Clock. If you've been following my uh, Facebook page Hijink Studios, you'll know the big trip to Darwin. That was up to Gemma's place. And that's my cat. <laughs> All right, we're gonna empty this one out. What do you think, Jen? Gorgeous. Yeah, just the right amount of sparkle. <laughs> Oh, there's Coco, my cat. Yes, the fight to keep hairs out of your resin is real. All right, so we lay down our blue. Now we're going to put our middle colour down. Fill in the gaps. Oh, I 
look at that color mm. yeah, that's gorgeous so you can see with the dark blue we can still see underneath and we can still see that uh, wave underneath which is what we really want we don't want to totally cover it up it just looks like the backwash of a wave which is what we're the look we were going for gone inside she's got to get up early tomorrow she's catching a plane back to Darwin we've got to get up at four in the morning oh my god I can't believe I agreed to take her to the airport although she did promise me uh, breakfast in the virgin lounge so that, that's what parents do right okay that's that one down all right I'm just gonna get this tool and I'm just gonna mush my resin around a bit mix it in and I don't mind if this mixes with this because we want it to blend because you know waves don't have straight lines when they change colors oh I'm getting a sweat up it's a bit hot tonight it's still about 26 degrees in Adelaide and it's like nine o'clock at night so that's still a bit warm I can feel the sweat running down my back okay now gotta be careful we don't mix up our shoreline there all right I think I've covered it all and you could even go a little bit darker with your color but uh, enough I think we're conservative and you want to make sure it sort of runs over the edge but I'll do that in a minute I'm going to heat it up in a minute so it's a little bit softer just scrape my thing and get all the stuff off Okay, I'm going to put some heat on and pop the bubbles. So the heat gun will make the resin a little bit softer and more runny, which is fine. And now I'm going to use my torch to finish off popping those bubbles. Don't get too close with your torch. Don't stay in one position, keep it moving. Okay, so that's all that popped. Now, before you put down any wave, I'm going to wipe the sweat from my brow because I don't want it to rip on my painting, on my artwork. Um, what you want to do is get down on the side and look on the side to see if you can see any dust bunnies which is dust that's fallen onto your resin or if you can see any hairs so get your tweezers get your baby wipes and have a look to see if there is any dust bunnies it's looking pretty clear actually amazing I say that now but there's one but you, you just you can't avoid them but the less you have the better and you know what doing your ocean scene is great because it hides a lot of those dust bunnies you don't have to it doesn't have to be perfect although 
We like a perfect. You're never going to get them all. You'll be here all night. Try and keep a dust-free zone if you can when you're doing resin, but it's not easy. And hey, I've got a cat. I've got long hair. Anything can happen. Anyway, that will do for now. And now it's time to do the fun part, which is the wave. Let's do the wave. So, now white has been sitting here a while and it's thickened up a bit. Although they say you don't have to wait for it to thicken in this new lot of um, ocean coat from Just Resin, but it always helps. Now, you've got to see where you've put your line of clear and you've got to run your white along the edge of that, which is really hard to see with all this colour. So, we'll give it a go. Well, it doesn't matter if you miss it a little bit. Try and keep it to the edge. Now this one I probably don't want as thick a line as I had last time, although some of it is thicker. And run it off the edge the other way. And you always have white left over. I have a, a mold, a big heart mold that I put all my white in. And one day I'm going to pop that puppy out and see what it looks like. Right, I'm going to heat this up. So I'm going to pop the bubbles with my torch. Which also heats it up a bit. And I'm going to get my heat gun. And now we'll just talk about the nozzle. This, some people call it a cake to your nozzle. Um, uh, other people call it an extender. I don't know, there's other words for it. And what this will do will be do, it does these long waves. And you can really push the wave all the way to the end. Or you can use one of these nozzles. And what this does, it's got a wider head and not as concentrated. And it just does um, like, a smaller set of waves if you like so depending on what look you're going for depends which nozzle you use and for this one I think I'll keep the extender on but I might not push it out as far as these ones this time so I put it on high high heat high wind and let's go so I heat it up we'll go along and give it a good heat And you can start to see it move a bit. That's when you know you can start to push. So then you can push it as far as you want. And if you don't want it too far, don't push it so far. Now the trick with waves is not to overdo it with a heat gun. Once you've got your waves to as far as you could. Now I could have pushed it all the way out, but on this second wave, I didn't want to do that. So that's why I stopped. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my smaller torch. I'm going to come in and I'm going to hit it with some heat. And that just helps to break it up and let the cells form. This one's got a small flame, so I can get a little bit closer, but I don't stay in one spot too much and as you can see those cells are already starting to form Right. 
and I like that way that it's softly blending into the other wave that's underneath. So I'm pretty happy with that. And as you can see, the, the cells are starting to form and they will keep forming for a little while. Do not go back with any more heat. You have done your job, let the product do its job. So it'll start forming more um, cells. So the only thing I'm gonna do is it's a little bit thin on this line. So I might just run just a little bit of white along there since I've got too much white left over, just to thicken up that base of that wave so it matches with the rest. Maybe a little bit on there. And that's all I'm going to do for it. So I'm going to leave it here to um, set overnight and that's probably all I'm going to do to this piece and then I'll come back and I will put in the real sand. I'm going to put real sand here. This is just spray paint at the moment. So once this is set, I'll be putting glue and sand from uh, uh, our favourite beach. So that's what I'll be doing next. So as you can see, look, the cells have already come up. So I'm just going to just hold still and take you down. So if it makes you feel a bit sick. Oh and a shake. I just want to take you down. Let's have a look at those cells. See, they're forming nicely. And I didn't have that much heat. I didn't have to push it too hard. Just let the product do its own thing. Can you see the sparkle? I hope you can see the sparkle. So those cells are forming as we speak. Oh, you can see a little bit of that sparkle on the edge there. See, not too much. I don't want it overbearing. And the softness as it gets up to the edge still got a bit of cell action and you can still see the cells from underneath i love that so i'm pretty happy with that that gives me a whole lot of depth okay so that's it for this video uh, i hope you've enjoyed it please push subscribe if you want to see any more and like it to help my channel out that'd be great and i'll see you in the next video